All right, friends. Can everybody see? Do you need to come up closer so you can see and listen well? Come on up. So lately, my husband and I have been going through some old things, things from our parents' homes. So that'd be like your great-great-grandparents, or maybe great-great-great-grandparents, I would say. So I brought some of those old things with me today, as well as some new things, and I thought we could play a little game. And you could help me figure out which is the older of two items that I show you. So first, I have two pictures. So look at these two pictures, and tell me which one you think is the older. Oh, you think? Do you agree? Yeah. This one's newer, you think? Yeah. He's definitely littler than these guys, right? This one's black and white. OK, all right, you're telling me how you knew that, right? OK, this one might be a little bit tricky. These are yearbooks. You guys don't have yearbooks yet. When you get to high school, you get yearbooks. Can you tell which one's older? This one? So I'm going to give you a little hint, even if you're not sure. Look at the football players in this one. And then look at the football players. Can you see these football players? You can see them on the screen if you can't see. Can you tell? Which ones are older? These are the older ones? Yeah. I think you might be right. I think you might be right. One more. One more. Uh, you think this might be tricky? OK, I have a bear. And I have another bear. Let's see. Which one's older? You think this one's older? Why do you think this one looks older? Because it's big. Because like it's big? Oh, big like older as in older in age. Like you're, you're the big sister versus the little one? This looks like an old expired gingerbread cookie. OK. So how do you think you tell that something's older or newer? Like brand new or old? Maybe the fuzz on them. Yeah, by getting up close and looking up close, right? You want to hold him? You can hold him, Jackson. Well, this guy has, what, what's going on with his nose? Look up close. What's going on with his nose? It has some fuzz sticking out because it's got a hole in it. It has a hole in it. It's kind of torn up. And this looks kind of worn out, right? So when you look up close, you can see that these things, the older things, are wearing out. Or maybe they're dated. Do you know what dated means? Dated means it's something that you don't use anymore. Like those football uniforms, we don't wear those kind of uniforms anymore. Those would. It is an artifact, yes, yes. So the reason things wear out and the reason things wear out and get holes in them and get dated and Blake uh, waste away, some old things waste away, that reason that happens is because of sin in the world. Before sin entered the world, anybody remember when sin first entered the world? There's a story in the Bible that you probably know. Remember the people? Not Jesus. Before, yep. Yeah, you're going to hear about that in the Bible readings today. So, in the Bible, before... Yes, Satan convinced them, didn't he, in the form of a serpent. You guys know that story. So before sin entered the world through Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, Blake and Elijah, before sin entered the world, everything was bright and new. It wasn't wearing out. So how do you think Adam and Eve knew that they had started wasting away, that they had sinned and started wasting away? How do you think they knew? That's how they sinned. They ate the fruit. But when God came looking for them, what did they do? They hid because they were embarrassed. And he did find them. When God got close to them and asked if they had disobeyed, they knew in their hearts that they had sinned. And it made them feel ashamed and empty. But the good news is, that was the bad news, that they had to be kicked out of the garden. But the good news is that God promised that one day someone was going to make all things new again. And someone was going to crush sin and Satan the devil and death. Who was that someone? Where's your answer again, Lana? You said it earlier. 
Jesus. Exactly right. Jesus was going to come. That's exactly right. Jesus came to be our Savior by dying on the cross. And then what happened? He didn't stay dead. He, he came alive. He rose from the grave so that we could look forward to something that we can't see right now. What is that? We're looking forward to one day we will be in heaven. We can't see heaven right now, but one day we'll be there. Jesus makes it really clear in the Bible that all of us, anybody, all of you guys and all the big people in the church who know that we're sinful and believe in Jesus will have eternal life. And you know what? When we know that, we can speak that to others. And why would we do that? So that they can know about Jesus too and have eternal life. So one more question for you. In heaven, will anything wear away, get worn out, or get holes in it, or even get dated or waste away in heaven will that happen that's what happens here on earth but in heaven no nothing none of that will happen and and we have that to look forward to because when Jesus comes back he's going to make all things new again all things new let's fold our hands and you guys can pray with me and then we'll go back to our seats or the nursery Dear Jesus, thank you for being my Savior and making all things new again. Amen. All right, guys, thanks for listening so well today and answering questions.